leading me to go to the bank for starters. <laughs> Julie told me. So tell me about parking in New York City. Oh, yeah. What just happened to you? Well, I ended up looking for parking for about half an hour. And it's the worst feeling ever when you're driving down like a crowded street, like two inches of margin on either side, by the way. Um, you're driving along for like half an hour, looping blocks over and over, just praying that something will open up. And then in your rear view mirror, you see somebody pull out of a spot and then before you can throw it into reverse and back up for like 50 feet, you see somebody just out of nowhere. Literally, I think they appeared out of literally nowhere. Uh, they just take that spot and that happened to me about five times, but Jesus is still king. Death is defeated and it's a good day. Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Okay, we need you guys to help us solve a little discussion we're having. You know how churches used like different brand elements all the time from very successful brands like Disney, Marvel, whatever, right? So it's just like a really common thing. Is that illegal? Now my stance on it is no. Because my feeling is that, like you guys got, you have guys in uh, Times Square in costumes making money off of pictures. They don't get arrested for it, but clearly they're using like mascot elements of these brands, and it's fine. And Evan's perspective, my thought is like, where I don't know, like where's the line? Because definitely there's some cases where if you rip off a brand like completely. That, and you're making money off of it, like that's a lawsuit. So is it one of those things where it's technically not cool but they just don't really enforce it all the time? Or is like the line just blurred? Like I don't know. Right, and see the other side of it is we have these free speech rules that allow us to like twist things a little bit. Like you're never gonna get arrested for pretending to be Donald Trump on, on a Saturday Night Live skit because we have the ability to like do that. So if you're using it for entertainment purposes, something like that, is it fine? So help us non-lawyers determine the answer to this. How okay or not okay is it for a church to use any kind of branding element from like major companies? Two years later and we hit it off and we've been together ever since. And you took the time to get his name? Well, yeah, we had a party and we knew exactly who we were. What flavor is the pink macaroon? The first one or the other one? The, uh, the uh, yes. last one. That one is the white almond. Oh, white and almond. And I have a uh, strawberry. I have, yeah, in the back rose. This is orange one, blackberry, caramel, white chocolate, the passion fruit, peanut butter jelly, espresso. Can, we, can I get a strawberry one? Well, I'll have one. Oh, you'll find out. Thank you. I'll have one. I'll have a strawberry one. Let's try it. Hi to all the people on the internet. Oh. Evie, say hi. Baklava. What do you think? I'm eating the whipped cream. Macaroons five minutes ago. I'm hungry. Can I have a cereal while I'm hungry? No. I'm uh, hungry. You, why didn't you eat the
the chicken. I'm hungry. Can we have some cereal? I want some cereal. Can we? Can we? Probably because you didn't serve the chicken to them. <laughs> you just expected them to reach up and get Shut it. Up. And they're only four foot. I have cereal. Yes. Okay. I say yes. I want milk in it. A regular milk or almond milk? milk? Today I tried a real macaron. By the way, the ones from Trader Joe's are not good, so don't go get them. I, I mean, if you want to experience, then go ahead, but just don't get them. But um, the ones at the cafe on Fresh Pond Road, right, Fresh Pond Road, and um, they're really good. The cafe is called The Spot. <laughs> it's really good, if you want to check it out, it's in Ridgewood. If you if you live in New York City, it's really good. What's the greatest lesson that your dad? What's the greatest lesson that your dad's ever taught you? Um, that God is real. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>